Podcast, Apple Podcast. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Y'all a brew heads? Yeah, we brew heads. So pour a glass of craft beer. We can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead. And I'm Scott Beer, Cold Beer Enthusiast. Welcome to episode 73 of Beer and Attitude, the podcast. And, mate, are you, are you guys nervous? What a doozy. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely scared. So we're here at the Griffin Pub in uh, Bracebridge, Ontario, with these three very, very attractive gentlemen. Caleb, Sam, and Jimbo, Sawdust City gentlemen. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Well, I appreciate you. it. Thanks for coming Thank all you. the way down here. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Thank you for Jesus Christ's bounty of uh, of everything goodness. that's yeah, ever we existed. We turned water into beer. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually. You do yeah, good work. Which is what we were doing today. So we came down here to do a, uh, a collab. Our first collab with you guys. Get it in your new New England Australian double India pale. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nailed it. We're going we're gonna to get like that reel it off of it. Yes. Yeah. Hashtag. It's going to be trending yes. by the hashtag. end of the week. For it's sure. going to be very, very lengthy. Hashtag. Um, so that was a good day. Thank yeah. you for that. that was Fantastic really brew day. It went smoothly. Yes. yes. 90%. Yes. 90%. Yeah. 90% yeah. Except yeah. for uh, a couple of hiccups, uh, but that's yeah. to be expected. Yeah. 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 Centrifuge so struggled a little bit, but she has to... We bring a lot of hops. We bring a lot of hops to the yeah. table. So this was uh, uh, the um, the most hops I've ever used in a beer. And uh, yeah, so that's the most, record today. It was the most we passed, tried to pass through the centrifuge. It didn't... It did shut it down one time. We had to reset it. But... But it all worked out. But Caleb yeah. came to the rescue and sprayed it down. <laughs> yeah. That was just show for you. Yeah, guys. I thought yeah, it was. Yeah, I appreciate it. I don't actually have to do this. <laughs> it's like kicking down doors. We were, just adding, we were just adding some drama at the end. Yeah. 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 Heighten so, the excitement. It's beautiful. Um, that was a good time. So basically today we figured, uh, actually, you know, this was Sam's idea. So normally what we would do for a podcast uh, would be we would drink the beer of the of brewery. the brewery that you that wanted to, to feature. And you're like, uh, I like to drink other people's beer. I was like, all right, let's do a bottle share. So uh, that is what we did. We uh, scoured <laughs> the depths of our cellar. You brought some new yeah. stuff that we're super stoked yes. to drink. I think everyone is going to be satisfied with this whole um, best be. <laughs> yeah, otherwise you really you really shouldn't be drinking beer. Where do we even start, guys? Like, where would you like uh, to start? I, we're pretty jacked to try the foam. Beer. Foam. Go straight to the foam. Yeah. All right. So we'll this we'll is... leave you guys to can. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 oh, these guys. You don't. You don't get it. Get the pour. Just go because it's gonna be yet too much. So. Um, yeah, can you guys tell us? I know Sam. This is your actually only our second like returning guest on the podcast. So it's, uh very special, very special. Thanks, man. We're go- I'm just happy to be here. Like it was uh, the first interview at Bar Up. Was such a fun time. It was. It was a good time. And, uh, and you came down hungover as hell. <laughs> as hell. That. Uh, <laughs> and drove all that way though. Yeah, you know. Well, you guys, if you say you're gonna do something, you better do it. It's the way to do it. Sam, yeah, was, Sam told uh, me after that interview that like the whole interview he had a, a really bad leg <laughs> Oh no! Oh, yeah, was, like, <laughs> he, he came back and said like that whole interview yeah. my oh, leg was so dehydrated. Oh, so so you <laughs> watch the video and you could see him like twitching his <laughs> eyes. Like he had like sunglasses on, so he couldn't like. It was tell. the day after our street party that we have at our local street party here in Bracebridge, and it usually involves a number of kegs. I bet. And then it just, from there is a jumping off point. It's three in the morning and I gotta get up and drive it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, Sorry. no, yeah. I'm like, it's fine. And we're like, man, these guys are We felt super honored, board. though, yeah. yeah. Dedicated, like, dedicated to the game. Bother to come all the way down <laughs> and then I think you went right back up. Yes, I did. But <laughs> it got me out of cleaning the street up. <laughs> hey. Oh, there you go. Sorry, well, guys, we got a podcast. I feel a bit better about it now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so do you guys want to, actually, no, let's take a Let's cheers. First thing cheers. Cheers, cheers. cheers guys. Guys, yeah. pleasure. Thank you. Cheers to the audience. Guys, as well. Cheers. <laughs> Get in here. You guys are above average brewers. Cheers. Yes. Aye. Yes, you certainly are. So this is like nine wow. one nine two. Oh wow. Uh, experimental jet set from uh, Belgium of Belong. They don't can very often. Uh, I had a friend pick this up. He had to go like you know it was like minus thirty or something like uh, ten a.m. on a Friday morning to pick it up in Friday canning. Um, but FOMO definitely might have, like Scott actually hasn't gone I'm, every yeah. time I, because I keep going now. Now I'm a legal Canadian. I'm able to keep going over the border, so I've been like, going all the damn time. So every single time I go to Burlington, check out FOMO and uh, never disappointed. You are just fucking going in, mate. That's how you drink beer. Yeah. Drink it. Did it live up to expectations? 
That, I literally never heard of them until today. So. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I was talking to someone recently, and that was just creaming over foam. I forgot who it was. Everyone does. When we say it's Vermont, terrible. they say, That's oh, have you been to foam? Yeah, really? Yeah. 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 It's that boring. crazy. So. They, I had someone, I don't know if this is like a bit reaching, but they reckon it's better than the Hill Farm said overall. Um, so I guess this is going to be moving faster than I thought through the beers. So maybe just you guys want to tell your uh, beer story, like I mean, break it down. Yeah, you can you can do like a TLDR version type of thing. Cole's notes. Um, but if you want to start, Caleb, let people know how you got into brewing, how you. Uh, yeah, you know, for you sure. Yeah, I mean, I started. Uh, I started like I think most people start with just just as like a hobby. I started home brewing, at, actually at at our family cottage, which is like. 35 minutes from where we are right now. Uh, started just doing some kind of home brewing batches with mixed success. And uh, around the same time, I was going to Ryerson University. Uh, graduated from there with an English and psychology degree, which I didn't really know what I was going to do with. And very conveniently, uh, Emily, my fiance, her uncle. She asked Emily. What up, Emily? Emily. Okay. Uh, uh, she, uh, <laughs> The lick shot. Her uncle is a her uncle is a, a brewmaster himself for, for over from England. And he oh, came nice. over to Ontario when he was younger, and in the time that he's been here, has helped set up a whole lot of breweries. And he also helped set, start the uh, brewmaster program at Niagara College. Wow. And so I had heard about that basically from its inception. And when I graduated from uh, Ryerson, decided I wanted to kind of make a bit of a switch. Oh, really? Went to that. Really, really kind of fell in love with the whole idea of of brewing as in a, a, a way to kind of Create, create something and express something and also really like delve into the kind of science and complexity of it all right. and when I and like the, honestly the best thing was just everyone I met there that was in my class like reinvigorated my love and passion for it and we all kind of like worked together to make each other more interested and passionate and I realized it was just a, a world I really wanted to be a part of and the only brewery I've ever worked at is Sawdust I, nice. between my first and second year at the college I interned at Sawdust, and then right after my second year, I started at Sawdust, and I've been there since that. So it's been a cool, it's been a really cool experience to like grow with the brewery. Did you meet? Did you guys meet then? I think because I know you were a teacher. Uh, no, actually, it was after. I had already left the school at that point and right. for, for Sawdust, and uh, it was the next year. Yeah, I was supposed to work at Lake of Bays. I was. I had a job lined up at Lake of Bays, which is obviously like also another. Brewery. I wanted to work at a brewery up here. I wanted to kind of give that a shot, mm-hmm. and uh, that job fell through for like totally cr- like crazy unexpected reasons. And they pointed me in the direction of Sam as well as a couple other people from breweries up here. Right. I'd never met Sam. I'd never spoken to Sam. I just called him and left him a voicemail and said like. Yeah. I got your numbers. Is there any chance you might have anything like available? He called me back like later that afternoon. I think he smelled like free intern <laughs> and, like, and went like, "Yes, yes. that's yes. exactly what, what I need." Really. And yes. he went to the school that he saw that. So yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. 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 He could he could hear that I sounded like desperate. desperate. Yeah. <laughs> so anything, he, I'll wash cake. He could smell that. blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Dan also called me and said, "Can you help?" Can you yeah. Help yeah. He was really, they felt bad they that the job was over. Yeah. And Dan's a great guy. Really yeah. Is. How long ago was this when you started? Uh, Three, that summer ago. would have been, I guess, four like four years. Oh wow! Ago so you've something. gone and you're the head brewer now. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. So it's four been a real, years. it's been a real kind yeah, of like journey. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. How's the growth been? Like, how has it been? Like, um, like the learning curve going from intern, like you know, student to intern to brewer. I'm sure. Did you do Selman? Did you do like? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the biggest learning curve was just like the initial. Probably the biggest learning curve is when we opened up like the facility up here. Like we opened right. the grave because we were contract brewing at a Black Oak while this facility was being right. yeah, retrofitted. That, yeah. So that was a big jump. Like the biggest batch I'd ever brewed before that was like 50 liters, and all of a sudden uh, we're brewing like 2,600 liters or 2,700 right. liters. Um, Scaling up quick. But like you know, I gotta give credit to to, to Sam a lot. Like the, I always felt a huge sense of like trust, like. They they would put they would kind of really trust me with what I felt at the time like was really weighty stuff right like right. when you now you know when you brew every day like y- you you really get the hang of it and it feels sort of you feel kind of like automatic but when you're brewing your first like that's twenty six hundred yeah, liters of beer that like you're personally responsible drink, yeah. for if you mess that up. so so to feel that like sense of of trust like 
you know, trust and also like like <laughs> responsibility. Like, you know, here's you're gonna brew this, we're gonna Don't go screw golf. it up though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one, baptism true by story. fire. Yeah. Yeah. That one true, true story. <laughs> it's the first time I ever brewed by myself. <laughs> But, uh, but like you know what like bust. I, know, like, but, like, like, you I would said never the biggest batch you've ever done. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, and he's calling me. I'm on like the fifth. Don't worry about it, bud. It's all right. But it's I good. never. Keep it going. Keep I never. Going. I would never take that back. Like I would never change that because I like I credit that hugely for like learning really quickly, right? Because you're forced into that situation. Yeah. Um. So like I don't know. The first six months were were a pretty steep curve, and then from there, like I don't know. I I I love learning new processes and stuff like I like to tackle them and take them on so like a new thing to learn is just kind of like a new opportunity and a new thing that I want to try and like nail down as best as possible right it's a good way to approach it in the uh, next uh, yeah, so we're on to keep, the next uh, one moving on through so the next guy is uh, in my opinion the beer of the festival from this past year's uh, Michigan Summer Beer Fest in Ypsilanti yes. so this is Boss Tweed double IPA from Old Nation yes so again sticking with the double IPA double dry hop that's how we started up juice we figured we'd just continue oh you know what we didn't have the double dry hop into oh, the there's a DDH like... on the there should be a DDH oh, yeah, we, just, we, we just gotta yeah. keep yeah. adding letters, letters and letters, 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 letters and letters double Dry hop. Oh, Who's who here? Is that this is me? Okay, I don't know who this is. No, this one's empty. Yeah, this, this one's, one's me. it. That's me. <laughs> we had next year. Yeah, I've been wondering. Okay. Oh, what's a? You should no, you should find a home for it and start this way. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. There's some fingerprints on that. Yeah. Oh, let's just look at that. Because you day one. That's that's yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You're like all right. There you go. Take that Mud. So get it in your double dry hot. I'm new, that to new, new England, yeah, Australian. Get in your double dry hub, New New England, Australian double in your pale. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bus tweet. I have some legs on it there. Fuck, get out of here. Cheers, gents. Get it Cheers. in. Yeah. Like I've said, come on, bro. Etiquette. Wait. Yeah. Friday. <laughs> Friday. So doesn't that taste like a uh, high five? It's pretty juicy. Oh Definitely yeah. It's fruity. In comparison to the phone. I think you're thinking five, five Alive, right? Yeah. yeah. What did I say? High Five? Like High Five Pedal Doors, perhaps? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know what it's Five that. Alive, just it's like... Really like uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah, acidity, it's, it's got like a higher acidity. It's still, it's still yeah, a little bitter. A little, bit yeah, more, yeah. Yeah. a little more chalky, a little more bitter. This is like a, that like nice cutting it. Yeah, yeah a little uh, milky velvet, velvet on that. Yeah, velvet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, whatever just juicy. walked by, that food is like... That's what's amazing, yeah. Wow, it's very good. Your brother owns this place, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I assume they uh, sell a lot of sawdust down here. Yeah, well, they, they, they do. They was, they, we actually sold our first pints of sawdust here. Before we were like Before I allowed to sell, oh, we would, right. I would do batches at the school, and we buy. He would buy it through the school and put it on tap here. And that was the legal loophole. Yeah. Nice. So that's. Slide. It was nice having like a brother that could sell beer. Yeah. Convenient. Yeah. So it's in the family. So, yeah, my dad's lucky. Just, one makes it, one sells it. He's like, yeah, I'm covered. Um, tell us, tell us, just like I know you've been on the podcast before. So okay, you guys got to pause this, go listen to episode 26. Yeah, and then the entire episode, that, the entire episode, back. seen an hour and a half, but the quick version, <laughs> yeah, um, which I didn't notice. You team. played it off pretty well. You played off really well, bro. I did not pick that at all. I'm going to give the uh, good folks the quick. Um, you, know, you have to go the summary. Into oh, it. just I, uh, I was working in advertising, went to Europe. Realized that I liked beer more than I liked advertising. Yeah, that we all. And decided that I wanted to go back to Europe for a while again, so I found a beer school and went and learned how to make beer. So what, uh, kind of, what was that? The VLB in Germany, in nice. Berlin. In Berlin's an well, amazing great. city. Yes, sir. And just like Caleb, working and being in an environment where there's so many other people, like minded people, really was quite inspiring and it was great. And still hang out with some of those people and talk to them all the time. Awesome. But uh, from there, uh, I came back and uh, tried mightily to start a place. And I'm glad it failed. The number of times so that I could work at places before I had I made all the mistakes for someone else. Yeah, and then uh, eventually Rob and I found each other and started Sada. So you guys are the founding yeah. partners, the founding fathers. I didn't know that. I wasn't sure. I gotta say, we actually met at one of Jed's beer festivals. I had been writing for Taps for a while before I. Right. Even, I don't. I had known Carla, his wife, the editor of Taps. 
Um, and Just I, Taps magazine. Yep. And that's what that's a company that Rob owns. Yep. Which is why the Taps uh, office is based out of. Uh, well, it is now. It used to be still in Toronto, exactly. but it's up. I don't even know if they have a. It's a it's a new, it's a modern office. It's called that now. Yeah, right. digital office. Digital office. Digital office. Oh, you but, like uh, to at the time, I knew Carla, and somehow Robert, I managed to meet at one of Jazz Beer Festivals, uh, the first session in Toronto. And from there, I found I didn't know he had a place up in Gravenhurst, and my dad was still living up here. So I came back and met him in his garage, had a couple beers, and decided this is probably what we should do. Amazing. What's your uh, day-to-day function at Sawdust? I make schedules. <laughs> no, I make, I make schedules. No. <laughs> Clean the wash. <laughs> Demoted no, yourself? I, I don't know. It's all changed over the years. It, it's been everything under the sun since we started. Um, these two guys do most of the, the hard, heavy lifting now. And, uh, so you kind of just like production manager type of just yeah, stuff. It's General not, manager. Yeah, it's not as, as romantic as it was before. Yeah, like, right. oh, it's sexy stuff. <laughs> it's <laughs> also, you make it sexy. Yeah, but you it, do. It was, you know, when we started, it was like all the brewing, and then Caleb sort of yeah. took that over, yeah. and and James does all the packaging, and I just sort of try to make sure that they work. Sure it all works together. I don't know. Like it's a team. Everything's a team effort. Right. But, Isn't there uh, stats on how many pints you've had in your life? Like if you could go back and oh, see, well, this Jesus night I had like well, no, Sam's no, I don't want to be an untapped user. Are you? Yeah, okay. I'm checking in all the time. time. Yeah. Yeah. I saw you all day. You seem the type. You, just you seem the type. Yeah, I'm all it's over. A, it's, it's an addiction. Is it? It's kind of. It's actually in this pocket right now. I have so many badges. You don't even. You should wear them like a sash, like a Cub Scout. Well, I do. I have a brownie sash. Yeah. It's actually possible to max out how many beers you can check in, and he's he's you maxed it. out. So he's got like four counts. I had to start. I had to keep having to start them. Like this, if you actually see, there's a one. Two, Sam, one, two, three. Four. <laughs> Just look it up. True. I'm, I'm gonna That's check it out. Awesome. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna check it online. What do you want to do next? There's so much to go through. Want to just go? Let's go this way. So Caleb, do you want to? Here's the yeah. torch. I, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah okay. proverbial torch. Let me see. There's just so much stuff. Oh, I know, right? The labels are facing the other way. So, yeah, Jimbo, you Jimbo, tell us, what to uh, do, son? Your story, man. Okay. Uh, uh, you got to follow that up. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll do my best. Um, so I like, uh, I sort of fell into brewing a bit. Um, I went to college in, in London, Ontario at Fanshawe. Um, nice. Graduated and I don't know, didn't really know what I was doing. So I moved out east to Halifax. Lived in Halifax for a little bit. Nice. Um, oh, nice great sweet city from over here. And while I was Thanks, living out there, um, a friend of mine, uh, Mark Phillips, uh, he's a brewer at Muskoka, um, he got, he, like, moved around and they were looking for a new brewer. And uh, I, at the time, was working at a bakery. Um, so, yeah. Can you, so, you talk while I'm doing the stupid photo? <laughs> That's how we do things around here. Multitasking. Yeah. It's so it's so well, like meta. Of, yeah. A vlog, a vlog inside a vlog. Like a collab it's with Inception field, vlogs field going on in here. DC and Modern Times. Ooh. Sorry to say that. Fieldhouse and Modern Times collab. Represent. Um, Fargo. Saison 5%. West Coast. All West Coast. Modern Lips. Times are fucking amazing. Let's do it. Yeah. What's it called? Fargo Saison. Alright. Thank you for your time. Mm. Um, but yeah. Uh, I was living out east. My buddy Mark. Like whatever texted me and was like. Looking for a new brewer, I think you'd be good at it, so uh, you should apply for it. So I applied, flew home, and yeah, I got the job. Amazing. Worked at Muskoka for a number of years. Um, Muskoka Brewery? Muskoka Brewery, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm Fantastic. actually from just like... around the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I actually used to live, like Muskoka Brewery used to be like... I think you're the only... 100 meters local. He's the only yeah, yeah, used to live right there. brewer that works at... Yeah, yeah like, oh, I right. He's, He's legit Graven It's in your blood. Yeah. Graven, yeah. Sorry, Graven Tony? Graven Tony. Graven Tony. Graven Tony. <laughs> 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 oh, that was the official name. That um, is the name of the episode now. <laughs> Graven Tony. Yeah. yeah. You are all... We have to review these. Graven Tony. Well, sorry, just so we can sit by Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Ladies and gents. Cheers. Cheers, bro. But yeah, so I uh, worked there oh, yeah. for a while and moved to Toronto, did a, did that whole thing. And then, yeah, I wanted, I wanted to move back to Greywinhurst, so I moved back. And uh, my friend Duncan, Duncan Beach. What up, Dunk? <laughs> oh, hey. Hey. Uh, one day I was having a rough day at work, so I texted Duncan. I was like, man, it's not as tiring. He's like, I don't know, I'll ask. He's like, yeah, yo, they're hiring. Like, get in right yeah. now. Like, 
I don't know, three days later, I was working. What was that? Remember really? your first day? What we did your first day? Yeah. What the duty of? Well, was that my first day? Yeah. Second day? It was, it was the first or second day. Okay, so we went, it was like in the fall, so we were going to, we were making the wet hot beer. I don't know if this is the first wet hot beer. It was the first. Yeah, yeah. okay, so the first wet hot beer. We are going to Collingwood to uh, Clear, what are they called? Clear Valley. Yeah, Clear Valley. And, uh... So, oh man, I gotta get sorry. <laughs> so yeah, like, it was actually sweet, like, man, my first or second day, like, going to a hop farm, like, we we spent the night in Collingwood, went to some breweries and stuff, and, uh, like, I didn't really know Sam, I knew, I knew, like, who he was, sort of. He served me a beer once in the parking lot of this place. <laughs> yeah, of course up. he did. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Legendary. so yeah. James was seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little boy, do you want to try that? It's delicious. Oh, that just took a hard, dark turn. Because <laughs> of this guy. <laughs> just the final. But yeah, so we were drinking at Northwinds. Uh, it's like oh, yeah, a yeah. brew pub. Yeah, our, our buddy was like a head brewer there, uh, Bartle. So yeah, we're drinking there. We drank until they closed or kicked us out. Um, I was keeping it pretty like tame because day, you know it's my first day. Rob's there, <laughs> right. like, the owner Sam. Got to impress still. Yeah, so uh, I'm keeping it pretty tame. Uh, Sam was not, <laughs> and uh, so usual. we like got kicked out of there. We're, like we're in the parking lot. Like I don't know if you know Northwinds. Like it's sort of on like a bit. I'd say like a bit of not a highway, but like there's like four lanes of traffic. Yeah, that's busy. Yeah. Okay. So um, it's like fall time. Like there's definitely no snow. We're wanting to go to a bar called Mogul's. So like, Sam was like trying to get us a cab, but like, I don't know, I was looking at his phone and just sort of like walked into the middle of the road <laughs> and spent some time in the road there. <laughs> Cars are coming by like honking at them. Eventually this guy in like this big truck, like lifted truck, pulls into the parking lot, he's like all cheesed. It's like, what the fuck are you doing in that parking lot? Okay. Go for a uh, shit. Tight. Okay, so like, well, you know, what the fuck? Get the fuck off the road. And Sam's like, man, we're just looking for moguls, man. Like, where are the moguls? And the guy's like, moguls? It's fucking September, man. What the fuck? And I'm like, oh my god, what am I doing? Like, oh, really? No, that's what I knew. I was in the right place. You're in. in you're place, in. Yeah. You're in. You guys that was a good. It was like too good to be true. It was so bonkers. <laughs> moguls. Yeah. I don't. I don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For me, I really like. Um, I like low alcohol beers. What? Because I like to Drink be drinking all day, playing some can jam, yes. or ping pong, paint your house. I don't you can't play ping pong with a head full of liquor. <laughs> uh, but I like uh, lately, Facts. like right now. The idea of a nice grisette, like uh, yeah. Yeah. We, we had a fair weather, like a fair like, weather grisette, yeah. so good. Like amazing. I love that style, low ABV, lots of flavor, like dry, drinkable. Uh, I love it, and like there's a lot of history with that beer too. Like a grisette, that's like a type of beer pe like farm hands are making, so they can yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of drinking like polluted water. Lots of herbs water. and stuff in there too, or any herbs in there? Yeah, I, I would light, like a little um, bit of fruit, like yeah, light. yeah. Like, yeah fair yeah. weather just did a lime one that was like. Amazing. Super good. I'll say on that tip that uh, engines of pillows engines was of pillows. fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire yeah. red line sword. Yeah, red line set. Go get it. Like yeah. Yeah. Zip. 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 Big 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 That's the hook. <laughs> and a battery. <laughs> battery. I think what we're going to do at this point is we're going to shut down the... Is there some ending music going on in there? Or? Mm -hmm. We're going to shut down the podcast. Oh, what we're going to do oh we're gonna have is we, a goldfish we, it we have a ton of beers yeah. we need to get through, and we're going to do this off camera. Thank you so much to the Thank entire Sada City crew. Thank you for having us out here. Thank you, Thank you for guys doing for coming here with Thank us. Thank you guys for having us. It was been a you guys, show. hold on a second. You guys are the best. Like the thing, the, the, what you guys represent is amazing. Like, you guys enjoy beer. You appreciate beer. You your, love beer. Your yeah. passion for beer yeah. excites us. Yeah, Good. It, that is what I like. We, we like want. we like it coming back because sometimes there's a lot. There's some negativity. Absolutely. 
Sam was saying on the way up here, like the way that we're you doing collabs, and you guys are asking technical questions that like only fucking brewers would ask. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, like, you, you guys, guys are, are good, man. Like, like, you yeah. guys want to know what the fuck is going on. And your excitement yeah. and passion invigorates and this positivity. Like yeah. that, we are we want. fans of you guys. Yeah, yeah you like, guys. I watch likewise. your videos. Likewise, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I love like, that you guys are like. Pushing craft beer, like man, it's awesome. Like, it's beautiful. That's our drive, man. We love Cheers what y'all do, and yeah, yeah. Cheers, Cheers to us, man. Cheers to you, kind. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, what a good time. Oh, good vibe. What a big group has. Let's get fucked. We're gonna get fucked on this last night. I'm already halfway there. I think, I think maybe you untapped my ability, my want to say kind. Oh no. Thank We're going to end us with a little bit of Cree in the background. Yeah. Okay. Creed. The one thing that we don't ever listen to is, is, is Creed or any new metal. <laughs> new with an umlaut. Oh man. Oh, Come man. on. Corn? But thank you guys for everything you do for craft beer, for, for having us, for, uh, you know. Like, I just feel like you guys are good sure. people. We were saying earlier when, uh, you know, when you guys reached out to, to for the collab, we were like, sure. It just made sense. Yeah. There's something that's good like, about Soda and about all of you guys. Yeah, it's it's made sense. Yeah. It's made yeah. sense for a couple of years now. Yeah. 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 You two, Caleb and, uh, and Emily, multiple Take times. it all, bud. Take it all. We've been here today. We feel it. Like we were saying before when we eat the pizza. There's no one we'd rather do our first collab cool. with than yeah, Soda. Yeah, well, it's great, man. It felt a hard yeah, It felt yeah, genuinely dude. like... Yeah. like Organic yeah, and like yeah, yeah. I'm just like extremely grateful. We started this shit as like a whim. Yeah, it was a side project for a, a long joke, time. joke, just for fun because we and drank beer and talked about beer, and now yeah. we're here making we our first collab beer. beer and very, very intelligent people, much more intelligent than us, who are doing incredible things, and we're just like grateful yeah. to be Honored in this and position. And humbled, thank you so much. For extremely the so. So yeah. thank you, well, guys. To like, genuinely, to, to not take yourself too seriously. Right? Right? Yeah. 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 That's what it's all about. Get in, yeah. Get in. So anyway, no, 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 we're finishing. Okay, we're okay. The whole thing. Oh, yeah. So make sure follow Soda City on uh, Instagram at Soda City Beer because Emily is going to take care of you. <laughs> and make sure you order home delivery at Soda City yeah, Beer. Yeah, yeah, they do Sorry, that. Right? It's a thing. www.sodacitybeer.com. Store. 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 Store.sodacitybeer.com. It's, it'll come up on the screen. Uh, and if you enjoyed the episode, you watch us drunken fucks. Yeah, song. subscribe, hit like. <laughs> wow, come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jimbo knows. Jim Beasy and all the easy. Of that shit. Follow yeah. us on social media. Where do you follow us, Jimbo? Uh, Instagram, B A O S podcast. Yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah.